Now, there are two major stumbling blocks to the African continent's economic development. They are South Africa and Nigeria. And that's what the World Bank's Africa Pulse report. A semi-annual report for the area has clearly said. The World Bank has predicted that economic growth in sub-Saharan Africa will fall to 2.5% this year from 3.6% in 2022. The World Bank cited underperformance of the region's two biggest economies for dragging the continent's economic growth. Rolling power shortages and infrastructural constraints that has also depressed exports and it is anticipated to slow South Africa's GDP to 0.5% in 2023. Now the growth forecast for Nigeria's GDP is 2.9% at the moment. Along with rising global interest rates, Africa is struggling under the weight of a massive debt overhang. The report showed the debt service ratio in the region, which will rise to a staggering 31% of revenue by 2022. And that will put more nations in danger of an already financial crisis. In a region with the fastest growing population in the world, disappointing growth has also meant low job creation. Just one in six people in the area now have a wage job. And the current development pace can only provide 3 million new formal positions every year. Although the region is home to 12% of the world's working age population, the World Bank believes that Sub-Sahara Africa barely holds 2% of the global capital pool.